Um, there he is. Look at that handsome man. Hi, Justin. Hello, Justin. Good morning. Hey, Justin. How you doing? Uh, good, good. I saw your uh, show uh, in Beaver Creek, Colorado, not so long ago at the Vilar. Sure did. God, that was a great at show. At the Vilar Performing Arts Center. Yeah. Mm. I still it can't. It was I, I, elevated. I, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't figure out anything you did. I loved it. It was terrific. <laughs> thank you. I mean, it was thank amazing. You. I was so honored that you came out. So thank you so much. Uh, oh, I recommend it um, to everybody. Now, it's my understanding, Justin, looking at this schedule, you're going to be this Friday night at the Brown Theater in Louisville. I'm going to be in Louisville. I can't wait. It's my first time ever there. Oh, cool. So uh, it's more at sea level than where you saw me, but I think the, I think my magic powers still work. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll I, it, was, it was the best. I loved it. So did my little girls. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, then we you had a, some merch there. You had a dice trick that yep. uh, was on my kitchen table for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> you got to teach kids. You got to teach kids to gamble at a young age. They love. That's it. what I found. They had a great time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Justin well, is thank a, you. I'm excited to be coming back. Justin Good puts morning. on a great show. Hi, Josh. Hi, Chick. Hi. Hi, Christy. Hi, Josh. Hi, everybody. I watched your wedding everybody. video again the other day. I'm just stunned by that thing. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, now you geez. have what? Two right. kids? I don't have the core work to do. Yeah, I do have two kids. Congratulations. Two kids sleeping upstairs right now. Can you believe okay. that? They're pretty uh, cute. And they, they, they get along real nice. Aww. They're adorable. There we go. They're really great. Oh, um, but, but you know, hit, hitting, the, hitting the road, doing the tour, I've, I've realized something. And maybe, you know, maybe you noticed this when you came to see me perform is that there's two types of people who come to a magic show. There's people who love magic because they love to be amazed. They don't want to know how the tricks work. They just want to experience wonder. And then the second group are the people the first group brought with them. <laughs> <laughs> these are people who do not like not knowing how the tricks work. They need to know. Which which, which group do you guys fall into? Oh, I, I'm a don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I, after the show, I kept going, okay. How I want to know, by God. I want to know what you're up to. I want to know who you're lying to. How did he get that? How did I he... want to know. You're just a liar, He's right? called you a liar oh, all morning. It's the best. I got such a, and I love I must... it when, I love it when you think, oh, you, you reveal the trick, and then that's not really the right answer. Uh -huh. Oh, you see, the whole time I Does have. Does he have, really have two kids? Fax you don't know. Show. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Does he really have two kids? Well, Chick, Chick's contention is that you are a, a, a con man, a, yes. liar, a, a flim flam artist, a ne'er do well. It's true, but Matt, it, it can be it can be it can be a beneficial art form. Here, if you pa if you practice that dice trick, you can get to the point where you get to the point where it just it just you know you're you're printing money. You're just printing money. See what he does. I just turned a deck of cards into money. See, why do you have to even go work in Louisville if you can make money out of cards? Yeah, no joke. You are in league. <laughs> I printed this. Chick is on to me. He is on to me indeed. He knows uh, it's fake. Uh, real quick, uh, Justin, uh, the, the schedule includes Louisville at the Brown Theater this Friday, Saturday, Nashville, Tennessee at the James K. Polk Theater. Lots of other stuff coming up. Jimmy Polk. In, uh, including Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. Next year, you're going to be in Albany. You're, you're going to be all over the place. It's the best. Yes, you you know it. You know it. I can't wait. I'm very, 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 very excited. Uh, I could, you know, since you saw the show, you kind of know how it feels when I pull the rug out from people. I could I could share that with everyone else if that's, if okay, that's please, right here. Please. Okay. Um, this is this is this is one of my favorites. Now, Chick, you're cl you're clearly the skeptic of the group. Oh is yes, that's, that's me. Oh, is that yeah. my correct I'm far assessment? too intelligent to be taken in by magic. <laughs> by a flim flam man. That's right. So, I brought something for you here. See, God right. knows what he's doing over there. God knows. <laughs> it looks like a box oh, on a stool. Go. It's a box on a stool. Yeah. Okay. I got a box for you, Chick. Okay. Chick. Yeah. You need to tell me something. There's no way I could know. And you tell me if that's, is that your first crush okay. as a young lad? Is that your favorite teacher as a kid? What's something that is not wikipedia -able Uh Oh, God. That you could tell me. Um, favorite teacher, go ahead. My favorite teacher? Yeah. Okay, my favorite teacher. Yeah, I've got, I've, you want me to tell? Who is it? Uh, Mrs. Hildebrand. Mrs. Hildebrand. Mm -hmm. She sounds like a great teacher. Hildebrand. H i l d e b r a n d. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yes. Yeah, see. See. How did Hildebrand. he know that? How did he know that? How did you know that? Mm -hmm. Do you even know her first name? Uh, I do. Yes. Should I share that? Do. Yeah. Joyce. Mm. Joyce. J o y c e. Now yes. this is good. Yes, There's sir. no way I could know this. No, right? absolutely. You haven't not. spoken about her on the air lately at all. Uh, I no? don't think I've ever no. given Certainly her. Certainly not the first name. Her her first name. No. Mm. Joyce Hildebrand. Now, here's what's amazing. Okay. I am in my kitchen. 
in yes, Studio City, California. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. I'm I'm at a distance. There's no way I can know about Joyce Hildebrand. No, you here, can't. No. In my kitchen. Yeah. You're about to witness the reunion. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Joyce Hildebrand. <laughs> now that would have been interesting. Yeah, that would have been, been, been a good that, trick. Well, I got my hopes up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's. Uh-oh. She's. Where, where does she live? Do you know? Uh, just outside of uh, London, Ohio, in in, in Central oh. Ohio. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you're going to find this quite interesting. Oh, so I need to bring her box. here. Okay. Just Get it. inside the box. That's right. Yeah. Listeners, there's a box on the stool. And yeah, inside the box is a prediction. The box. Yeah. That before the show, I placed a sheet of paper. <laughs> oh, my God. I always pulled the brand in it. It doesn't what? make any sense. Wait a minute. It's, he, it's, it's I, printed out, Joyce. I have no idea how brand. you've done this. <laughs> what? That's amazing. It doesn't yeah, that's make the any thing. sense. That, that, no. It doesn't make any sense. And that's no. what you always say. I don't know if yeah. you know what you say when you watch magic, but it's often a, it doesn't make any sense. And that's the beautiful thing. <laughs> that's why you need to stop trying to figure it out. You don't want to know how the trick works. You don't want to yes. know how I I know. Your, magic's like hot dogs. That's what I'm here to say today. Because oh, the more you know, you know, know yeah. the harder it is to swallow. You don't want to know how it's made. <laughs> Thank you. And to prove my point, yes. I, will show you. Yeah. I will show you how it works. Okay. okay. I'll show you how it works here. He's taking the, the box secret, off. of course, listeners, is a wireless oh. Bluetooth printer. <laughs> now, there is a printer in the box. There's a printer on top of the less, stool. That's hilarious. Far less impressive. That's a beautiful print, now, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, yeah. does that boost your respect for the craft? Or are you <laughs> that? Oh, no, wow. you're, you're uh, quite the showman. You, uh-huh. uh, yeah. He's that's so it. great. Yeah, huh? that's beautiful. It's yes. amazing. This, that's this is the this is the thing. As as uh, as we were hearing, sometimes it's nice to be let in, but you you really don't. You want to think you know how it's done, but you don't really want to be told. That's right. why. That's why. That's why. Check it. This is not even a printer. Oh, oh my god! What? The printer is a piece of paper. Holy that he's hell! Printed. Okay, that's he's the greatest trick. Gentle. That's he's the greatest trick I've ever seen. Pat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the greatest trick in the world. Uh, uh, Joyce, wow. Joyce there it is. Out of thin air. Um, now, chicks, greatest. right behind okay. you in studio. If you look, oh. you'll you'll see her. Here she is, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, I looked. By okay, the way. Justin, <laughs> Justin Wilman, I it puts on the most delightful show I've seen in years. I highly recommend it. Brown Theater, Louisville, Kentucky, this Friday. Do not miss it. I got the mm. chills when he crumbled up the print. So yeah, did yeah, I. Yeah. Just insanely yeah. good. Yeah. And Thank I, you, Justin. And I, uh, you're also on Cameo. Wow. You did a nice Cameo for my daughter, uh, by the way, a couple years oh, ago. Oh, I did. That was so fun. What a weird time yeah, those times was. were. And it was so nice to be able to connect with people. So thank you, guys. And I uh, know, let me ask you this. Are you uh, beyond uh, live performance? Are you doing any other? things uh, uh, oh yeah the uh, ne- the netflix uh, magic for humans the yeah you know for the yeah. past year and a half i've been working on this new netflix show because uh I, I did three seasons of magic for humans which is a blast mm-hmm. and the thing that makes that show uh consistent is that everyone i do magic for on that show knows i'm a magician which is kind of this safe space like nobody nobody gets too caught off guard because if anything crazy happens they say oh he's a magician don't worry but uh, I wanted to do a new show where essentially I do magic only for people who do not know I'm a magician. Because if you if you saw somebody in half on stage, it's a magic trick. People are like, wow, that's amazing. But if I saw somebody in half in a Home Depot parking lot <laughs> and I'm just some dude, <laughs> it's a different, it hits yeah. different. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so basically I've been, I've been making this magic prank show where I help people oh. prank Oh. Lo- their loved ones who okay. have it coming for a good reason. <laughs> it's kind of like it's almost like a ma- it's like a magic intervention show. Oh. You know, helping helping someone's boyfriend see yeah. what it feels like to be in the car with a bad driver like him, or helping oh. someone stop being a ghoster. And uh, so we'll see. Either I'm bringing people together or driving them further apart. TBD. Okay. Oh. Let me just say this: when I saw Justin's uh, live show uh, at the end, uh, it was a standing ovation. People leapt from their seats. They were so delighted. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm giving to hit you... the slopes again. Uh, <laughs> yes, we were, we were all going to go skiing. <laughs> but man, it is it is so fun. You know, as you as I'm sure you know, uh, it is hard to find a, a a show that you can bring every person in your family to. So that's kind of what I'm most proud of is in this in this Magic for Humans in Person tour is a show that you can bring your eight year old to or your eighty year old to and everyone in between. That's and great. Do you find I, at least in my case? Yeah, my my little uh, at the time five year old was going. I know how he did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're five year old completely baffled. Uh, oh, I know how he did that. That's a that's a numbers what trick. Kind of, <laughs> what kind of theories were you getting? Oh, I know how he did that math. 
Yeah, yeah. Or this one, Joyce Hildebrand. I know I did that. Magic. Yeah. The finale was absolutely incredible. I, it was just amazing. I I can't recommend Thank anything you. more than seeing Justin. Hey, thanks for your time. We appreciate it, Justin. Just wonderful. Joe. My Thank pleasure. Yes. Thank the, you. It's great to see you, all of you. Glad you the family's too. doing well. Yes. And would you please Thank schedule? You. Would you Thank please you. schedule they're, Beaver they're Creek for early January? <laughs> <laughs> Beaver Creek think? early January. Um, you you got it. Do you, you think you would ever do a? Uh, I'm sorry. Do you think you would ever do a residency show somewhere and stay in one place for a while? You know, I did that in LA for about a year, and I, I liked it at first. But I kind of like. There's something about. I don't think it's the travel that I like because that that is frustrating. But it's it's performing in a different place for a different. You know, a di every city is a different kind of vibe. There's sure. just some little secret sauce that I just uh -huh. love kind of learning how to crack that lock in the beginning of each show. Like, what's how do I get inside their heads, their heads, their heads? And I think when I'm in the same place, it kind of feels like the same the same challenge every night. Oh, it's a little, little, uh, uh, Christy, little diminished. Christy got me thinking about something. Uh, in, in Beaver Creek, um, although I was not high... Uh, there are that is a, a one place where one can get the legal reefer, if you will. <laughs> uh, d d d d earlier in your career, did you find yourself playing like in comedy clubs? And were there a lot of stoners? And are stoners a good audience for magic, or do they start throwing up? They're scared. Oh my God, it's the devil. You know, it's. I would say drunks are a tougher audience. Drunks are, have the confidence to heckle. Stoners are a little easier to fool. Like stoners, you, you can do the old thumb off trick. And you hit him. What the hell are you doing? And <laughs> Holy hell! How does he do it? <laughs> you know, drunks drunks behave like kids at a birthday party mm. when they're when they're put in that position. Stoners mm. are a great are a great audience. I could go for hours. Okay. So, <laughs> well, you're amazing to everybody. If you want to yes. really, if you want to partake in the reefer and see a magic show, I, I'm your guy. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Justin. Oh, what a great. Just guy. terrific. Thank you very thanks. much. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks for getting Thank up early. Guys.